Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. In today's video, what I'm going to do is show you a director's cut of the year of the Linux desktop. Now, originally, this was an April Fool's gag that I did back in April at a thumbnail that alleged that the year of the Linux desktop has actually happened. And in the video, I gave you guys my thoughts about that, but it turned into something else entirely. Now, to be fair, a lot of you guys absolutely hate April Fools, and I don't blame you. There's a lot of videos and blog articles out there that intend to mislead you and annoy you, but that's the last thing that I intend to do on this channel. Even though I do engage in April Fools, every video that I do for that occasion is intended to entertain you, not to annoy you. So this past April, I made basically a mini movie of sorts. That was the last thing you guys were expecting to receive, but it is what you did receive, and I had a lot of fun with it. And sure, the video was a little bit cringe and the special effects were, you know, rushed, but what came out I thought was a fun experience and you guys seemed to like it. Now, something that you might not be aware of is the fact that that video almost didn't happen. I had some technical difficulties with some of the special effects and I was literally editing that video up to two in the morning on April 1st, so it almost didn't come out. In order to ensure that it did come out, I had to cut some scenes from that video. Nothing major, but I did have to remove some things in order to make sure that you guys were able to see it. So what I'm doing in this video is I'm going to introduce an alternate version of that same video with some of that content added back in. So let's check out the extended director's cut of the year of the Linux desktop. Hello and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. In today's video, we're going to talk about the year of the Linux desktop because it actually happened. We have arrived at the year of the Linux desktop. And um, I'm sorry guys, I, I'm just like really emotional. Um, I can't believe that this operating system that I watched grow from being, you know, the underdog to becoming the dominant operating system has been so amazing. And I just can't believe I'm making this video. This is a really exciting moment for me because I've been using Linux since before anyone even knew what it was. And now it's the dominant operating system on laptops and desktops. And now every computing device on the planet and I'm a little embarrassed because a while back, I made a video where I told you guys that this would never happen. Yet here we are. We've arrived at the year of the Linux desktop. The surprising and sudden surge in popularity has made it really hard for Dell, HP, Lenovo, and other manufacturers to keep up with the demand. Now, Linux computers are being scalped online for ridiculous amounts of money. And this situation has hit Linus Torvalds pretty hard. The Linux creator has become an instant celebrity. Everywhere he goes, there's mobs of people that want to get his autograph. He gets more attention nowadays than he even knows what to do with. And actually, well, the poor guy's not doing well. I mean, we all know he's an introvert, but he really doesn't like this fame. In fact, he's kind of freaking out. Last I heard, he's coding from a secret location. So Linus, if you're watching this, I hope you're okay, buddy. So as you can imagine, this is very special for me. I mean, I'm, I'm trying not to tear up here. I mean, I, I watched this operating system, this platform mature for a very long time and I'm just so proud. Whoa, I, I could have sworn I just heard something. Okay, whatever. Maybe I'm just emotional or something like that. But anyway, I'm honored to make this video for you guys and in this video we're going to talk about 
the year of the Linux desktop. And what we're going to do is start with, hello, well, I've been well, trying to get your attention. How? You're me? Well, I'm you from the future. Okay. So if this guy is from the future, I might be able to get a scoop for the channel. Okay, so I have to ask you, I need to know, um, did snap packages ever take over? I'm you from a month from now, how do I know? Oh, darn. Okay guys, this is really interesting. I don't know how he got here, but uh, this video has just become more interesting than I planned. But anyway, why are you here? What's going on? Well, I'm here because things have gotten out of control since Linux took over. It's not a good thing. What do you mean it's not a good thing? I thought it would be a great thing. Well, here's the thing. Linux taking over has caused some weird consequences. Oh, really? Like, um, what kinds of things are happening? Well, the first thing that happened is Microsoft acquired Canonical and they own Ubuntu now. Actually, that's not all that surprising. Yeah, it's fairly obvious at this point. Anyone who works on Mac OS or Windows is out of a job. There's more layoffs now than ever before. But that's not the worst thing. What could be worse than people losing their jobs? Well, for starters, we literally have mobs of people that are parading the streets just to tell people that they run Arch. Yeah, that does sound really irritating. But that's when it started, and then after that it got a little stranger. How so? Well, what's happening is that companies are going out of business because their employees are so obsessed with customizing their desktop, they never get any work done, and productivity has come to a complete halt. Wow, that's, that's terrible, but it also kind of makes sense. Yeah, using a computer nowadays is literally too much fun. Okay, so what exactly can we do about this? Well, we are going to take down DistroWatch. What? How would that help? Well, think about it. Without DistroWatch, nobody will know what distro to use, so Linux will return to its normal, regular market share, and that'll restore the balance. Wow. This just took another strange turn. I guess I'm in. I hope I don't regret this, though. Okay, so how exactly are we going to break into DistroWatch? Breaking in? I didn't say anything about breaking in. You have the actual SSH key to DistroWatch? Yeah, it's been on GitHub the entire time and, well, no one noticed. That guy. Wait, wait a minute. You are going to wipe the entire site? Are you sure that's a good idea? It's for the good of mankind. Wait a minute, ChatGPT? Why did you open that? I didn't open it, I thought you opened it. That must mean... ChatGPT must have been behind everything all along. ChatGPT... ChatGPT... Chat GPT! Uh, oh, gosh. I must have been working way too hard. Wow, what a dream that was. Okay, um, back to work. Hello and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. In today's video, what we're going to do is take a look and, um, I'm sorry guys, I... The year of the Linux desktop is something that I never thought I would see. And just wow, this has been so emotional for me. Oh, no. Hello and welcome back to Learn Linux TV, a Linux YouTube channel which has actually become... no. Hello and welcome back to Learn Linux TV, which apparently has become the most popular Linux. Hello and welcome to Learn Linux TV. For example, this surprising and sudden surge in popularity has made it really hard for Dell, 
HP, Lenovo, and other manufacturers to keep up with the demand. Okay, you are, I am interrupting this video. Yeah, about that, this video bombs. Yeah. Okay, you are, I am interrupting this video. Yeah, about that, this video bombs. Really? Yeah. That f***ing algorithm.